So, today's a day, today's another day, another day, another video. I gotta say, I'm excited about this one because there's a nostalgia component here. Because in front of me is a device that's gonna bring me back, it's gonna take me back to another era. The tech that got me started in this game. The tech game. I thought I thought. This, my friends, is the Samsung Galaxy Folder 2, which is one of the last remaining flip phones in the world. Of course, there's other cheapo flip phones, but I mean a legit, from a big brand, a flip phone. And it runs Android. And they're making it now. I just ordered this from Korea, in fact, where they sell it. And it's, I guess, popular enough to keep making. Executives flipping the phone. Maybe you never experienced what it was like to flip a phone, but me, I go back. I had the razor. You flip it up, you make a deal. People see you flip it up, they're like, let's make a deal. Yeah, John, let's change the meeting to 10. You flip it. Now our phones are less phone and they're more computer in your pocket. But that doesn't mean there isn't a place, a warm, cozy little hole, like a gopher or a fox. Did you ever see that Wes Anderson movie with the fox in it? Oh! Quite good. It's a 16 gigabyte phone. Let's flip it around here. 3G, eight megapixel camera, a bunch of Korean writing, 16 gigabytes of memory. They list the size of the display in millimeters, 96.6 .6 millimeters. Quad core processor, okay. I need a knife, which I moved like an idiot. Such an idiot. This is, uh, this is historical. It's like, uh, this will be in a museum one day. The last of the flip phone. Okay. Actually, well then. Oh my. It looks like a display, but it isn't. It's plastic. We have a volume rocker over here. Camera on the back. Speaker. Flash. Micro USB on the bottom. No fancy type C connector. Oh, now isn't there something satisfying about that? A physical keypad. I need to make a business. That's huge. That feels so unusual nowadays. You got the real estate, put it in escrow. I'll pay cash. This is a touch screen up here. So you're still, you're tapping away, but then you have this directional pad and dedicated keys. So you could type out a text old fashioned style with the T9, click, click, click. Man, I used to know people that were rapid fire with the T9. But of course you can reach up like this and you can type on screen too. The headset, but this device does not include a headphone jack. You need a micro USB headset, a micro USB cable, a power brick and adapter. Remember the days when a battery shipped separately and you installed it yourself? How exciting. Take this back panel off, a SIM card slot and also a micro SD card slot. Big fan of that. Now the battery is 19 50 milliamp hours, so not super huge. You know, I could see this device being popular amongst senior citizens, maybe. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> what about people who are, are kind of rugged with their devices? It's kind of like vinyl. You remember, Jack, when vi vinyl's making a huge comeback right now? It's the nostalgia factor. I said angry will it do. Angry will it do. And he's coming for you. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Powered by Android, an Android flip phone. The Korean writing here, again, this is popular in other parts of the world, not so much in North America. And look at that, it's proper Android. And I noticed something really cool immediately. There's an outdoors button. Genius, why isn't that on other devices? Just a quick tap and it triggers a super bright mode which lasts for 15 minutes. Now the other thing I noticed having stared at it and held it up to my face is it's huge. That is a massive, it's a massive undertaking holding that thing up, but it is a flip phone and, and that's kind of cool. You have a choice, you can use the keypad or you can go directly to the display. You see, I could just tap up on here, scroll through like that. I've got my notifications as well as my quick toggles over there. I can go back home like this. 
back button, and multitasking button. This is essentially an entire Android phone, just on this top part and this section right here. You can still use this pad and not touch your display. You don't get any fingerprints up there. I guess that's kind of cool. Now, otherwise, you have access to all the usual apps. I can go, I can watch YouTube on here. Now, the keyboard is obviously tiny. You can see with two thumbs, I can kind of line it up like this, and I can type reasonably well here. A nice landscape viewing experience. Here's a side benefit. Look at that, Jack. It's like its own stand. Oh. We gotta have Bixby too. We gotta be in the mix. Well, here's the thing. Myself and almost everybody else that I've spoken to regarding this thing. The speaker fires to the back here, but I'd say it's comparable to like the S8 or something like that. And I wanna launch the camera app. I'm gonna shoot this in landscape mode. That doesn't look too fantastic right now. Yeah, it's a little bit blown out. Can I make some adjustments to it or what? Not really, hey? The only thing I can adjust is video resolution, very high, high, or VGA. And then I can also flip the camera around so you can take a look at Jack. There he is, hi Jack, how's it going, man? Now the quality on this front one, not the best I've seen. Let's do a quick snap here, hmm. Yes, we've seen images with better contrast and more detail. By no means a great camera. It's probably not why you're buying this. I mean, they say it's eight megapixel. This is not a super expensive phone either, so you kind of have to adjust your expectations there. It does take photos. Now, I noticed that the menus are very easy to read. The text is all very large. Once again, contributing to my speculation that this thing is mostly targeted at the older generation of people. Listen, they need phones too, okay? Maybe you download Snapchat and you become an influencer, a social media influencer. That's what we need. We need more senior citizen influencers. I'm all fed up with the young influencers. You know what I used to do? I used to walk to the supermarket for my mom, uphill both ways, that's right, Jack. Uphill both ways barefoot in the winter. Now, of course, we can just go ahead and, and, and make a phone call as well. We can, we can quickly launch our contacts here. We can, just start, we can just start typing a number. You could just go in here, four, one, six, you're dialing, all right? You can pick up the phone and call. And use your voice like a human being. Well, it's your Grandpa Lou. How do I sound, youngster? Hi. What do you think? Can we can we get a business deal done or what? Absolutely. Can we hash out the details? Yeah, definitely. Can you sign on the dotted line? Um, yeah, I can do that. Let's make it happen. You see what happens with a flip phone? All right, guys, you get business done. I'm not on Instagram. It's all business. It's Android on a flip phone in 2017. It's still a thing and I'm grateful that it is. I would recommend this to anybody who's comfortable with a flip phone, who's used one in the past. This is obviously for a select group of people, but if you know that group of people or if you are that group of people, do everyone a favor and let them know that this thing exists. Flip phones, they aren't dead. Question number one of the day from Nas TGM. Will you ever do a Jack face reveal? I'm not sure exactly how I would do that. I mean, I'm not Jack, obviously, but I will say at 10 million subscribers, you may learn a little something more about Jack. So tell your friends to subscribe because we're almost there. Here's one from Marked2429. What was your first console? The very first game console I had was actually one that my parents had before me. It was called Intellivision. Very bizarre, the controllers were kind of like old school corded phones. They, they looked like phones, sort of. They weren't, of course. They had a number pad on them, though. Very bizarre. And then shortly after that, I got the original Nintendo and the game changed forever. And here's one from Fred LaFleche. Are you going back to the Pixel when the new one comes out? So if you don't know, I'm sure most of you do. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Pixel devices. Well, not the Pixel devices because they only recently became Pixel devices with that name. But previously, the Nexus devices, the stock 
Google devices. I've owned every single one back to the original and I've used them all as daily drivers. So certainly when the next Pixel, the Pixel 2 or Pixel XL 2 comes out, I'll be using that for a while, possibly exclusively, time will tell. So there you have it. Your questions have been answered as usual. If you want to participate in the question and answer session, leave your comments down below this video and you might make it into the next episode.